So everyone's heard of the opioid epidemic, and uh, we've written many articles about the opioid epidemic. Uh, what people don't understand is why. Right now, people think that the opioid epidemic is all about a bunch of doctors writing a bunch of opioids and a bunch of patients just randomly overdosing overnight, you know, taking something as prescribed. And, and the reality is, is it's, it's actually far from that. Uh, so we do have some really bad doctors prescribing some really bad molecules uh, and we do have some really bad patients who have absolutely no good intentions. We also have uh, patients who have gone to legitimate doctors taking, taking medications legitimately and they've had bad outcomes, including death. That's where we're seeing a complete disconnect from uh, what is really happening to what people think is happening. In many of those cases, you're seeing counterfeit medications. And uh, it's a topic that I've talked about for many years. Uh, Pain Week is also now the first conference to have a CME accredited presentation on counterfeit m solutions, and you know, solutions to this whole counterfeit problem, anti-counterfeiting technologies. Counterfeit medicine is a major problem. It's just 1.7, counterfeiting in general is a $1.7 trillion industry. Counterfeit medicine is somewhere between 200 to $450 billion a year. So it's a massive problem. And we have multiple different types of counterfeiting. We have legal, so legal, completely allowed legal counterfeiting that occurs as we speak. We have illegal counterfeiting, we have brand name counterfeiting, we have generic counterfeiting. And we are not doing a, a, a very good job of educating the population about counterfeits. We're not doing a very good job of policing counterfeits. Right now, the FDA allows a bioequivalence variation between 80 to 125%. So when you calculate that out, it's about a 56% variance from the original branded product. And we are seeing that in clinical practice daily, where we see these products are, uh, one day they're not working, the next day they're working too well. So what happens in those situations is the patient says, oh, I'm gonna take two or three or four of these tablets because they're not working. And then when they end up getting a product that works even better than it's supposed to, and they take four of those, they overdose. They die. So currently, uh, we have technologies that exist as we speak that can authenticate bottles, tablets, products, you know, anything you buy online, where you know as a consumer that these products were legitimate, they were made by a legitimate source, and they are the real thing. There are technologies out there that contain anti-counterfeit properties, and those technologies exist right now. You can put them on bottles right now. You can put them on pills right now, obviously, fine print, FDA approval for that product, blah, blah, blah. But you, you, the technology is there. You can do that right now. Uh, until society demands that they want to have legitimate products, these companies don't have an incentive to spend even a penny to, to put these products on there. The only incentive they have right now is the government who has passed these laws called e-pedigree laws, uh, which they're supposed to be able to you know, document and track and trace these pills. That law has been pushed down the, 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 the road so often, it's uh, I think been pushed down over half a decade now because none of these companies have stepped up. So the take home message here is that you can get safer products today. You can authenticate safer products today. You can save lives today. You can improve morbidity and mortality today. You can reduce costs of healthcare today. And this goes way beyond just medicine. Even products, you know, uh, electronics. You know, you can, you can make sure your electronics don't blow up today. <laughs> A lot of things you can do today. Society has to demand it. They have to speak up and they have to say to their companies, if you don't, you know, whatever, in the next year do this, we're not gonna buy your product. And you know what? Someone will authenticate their products. And you know what? They will capture that marketplace both because patients and, and consumers want to buy real things, and they also want to support companies that want to help people and that want to save lives.